Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. So I just got through with work and I've got a little job I wanna do here in the studio. Studio. So this is my Hollyland Lark M1 wireless microphone system. Got two transmitters, one receiver in the charging case. And if you've watched my videos where I've used this and enjoy using this one because it's a really fine product, I was looking around at some information for somebody and found that there is a firmware update for this microphone or this system. And I've never updated the firmware. It's stock. But I want to go ahead and get this done because it says it uh, enhances the noise cancellation features on it and everything. So, what I want to do, I want to show you how to do it. I've never done it, so this is going to be a new one. We couldn't make a paperweight out of this guy. So, what I want to do, I want to switch over to my screen. And this, I'll put links to everything in the description. But this is the Hollyland Lark website where it shows the M1 microphone. Here is the firmware for this guy. And they actually have a upgrade tutorial. And this is the latest version right here. We will uh, pull this up in the browser. So what you need, you need a Windows 10, Windows 11 PC that apparently will not work on a Mac. The upgrade file itself, they show you how to upgrade it and a USB-C cable. And then they walk through and they give you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. So it takes about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and do this. And it says, uh, avoid upgrading the device in the middle of important events. So don't do it in the middle of a recording shoot. Uh, avoid the power being cut off during updating. Make sure the battery is charged all the way and don't unplug it. It says do not unplug the USB cable. So what we'll do, I'll download the upgrade file. Okay, it says Google Drive can't scan this for viruses. We're going to download it anyway. It's a 12 meg file. We'll keep it. All right, now we're going to open the file. We'll extract it all to a folder. All right, now when I get it to this, I'm going to right click and I'm going to show more options. This Windows 11, so it's kind of irritating. I'm going to scan with Microsoft Defender. Okay, 11 files, did not find anything. All right. So now we will run the application. We're gonna take the receiver out of the box. That's the receiver. It's got a USB-C port right here. We're going to plug it up like that. Let's go back to the instructions. And we'll go ahead and lay the transmitters out here on the table. These are the transmitters. So we got it all laid out there. We're going to open the tool. I'm going to refresh it, and you see the version right here, it's 1.70.10. The upgrade version is 1.734. So with it plugged up, I'm going to go ahead and hit upgrade. And we're going to sit here and watch it, and hope to goodness it works. <laughs> 
I have I have done things that break before. So one thing that you if you do break it, you have to send it off and have it fixed. You know, it's as far as what I've read. So I'll speed you through this. Okay, so we have upgrade success. Little uh, exclamation popped up there. Good deal. That took six minutes. And now it says that they are disconnected and we are at 1734. And everything has a blue light on it. Cool beans. So what I want to explain, I didn't explain when I first started this, firmware is a piece of software that a chip in a device has on it to uh, control itself, uh, have enhancements to do different things so that chip can actually perform different functions. And when a company comes out or a developer comes out and wants to enhance this or fix a bug, fix an error that it's having, they will put out a release of firmware or software. Every device has it, your phone, your computer, your cameras, uh, everything that has a chip just about has firmware on it. This has firmware and the receiver has firmware and that allows them to talk to each other too. A lot of these devices that talk to each other, the firmware allows that. You know, all your networking chips, processor chips, graphics chips, all of them, they have a piece of software on or some kind of machine code or, or something. So that's why, and on the list here, let me see if I can find what the enhancements were. Okay, so I found this, and I'll, I'll link all these articles and stuff. The... The firmware that I just put on here, the 1734, it optimizes noise reduction. And uh, all it says is fixed another known problem, which could have been just a small bug like pairing or um, some kind of noise in it. But I will link the user manual, brochure, and the, the firmware upgrade. Uh, use it at your own risk. That's another thing. You can make a paperweight out of these things. You know, your, your motherboard in your computer, your phone, your laptop, your microphone, whatever, you can make a brick out of it. So always be careful. Read the instructions to the letter. And then sometimes it'll fail even if you do that. But always be careful doing it. So anyway... Any questions, comments, let me know. If you use the Holly Lamb Lark M1, let me know if you like it or not. With this update, I'm going to go outside and do uh, some noise cancellation tests with it. I failed the last time I did that. I failed to do it right. I'm going to try to fix that this weekend. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And if you're over on Rumble, do the same thing. So, anyway... Coming up on the weekend, I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy it. Have a good time and get out and get some sunshine like I'm going to do. But like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.